October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is never a bad time to remind everyone watching out there the ways to get checked and the importance of early detection. It could save your life or the life of a loved one. Here with me today to learn more, we've got Dr. Sumbal Nabi, a medical oncologist with Integris Cancer Institute. Dr. Nabi, welcome to the show. Great to see you. Thank you, sure. Thanks okay, for having me. so Breast Cancer Awareness Month is a time to really reflect um, and think about how we get checked, early detection, all the things. But first, I just want to start with some breast cancer statistics. What are the latest in terms of how quickly breast cancer is, is killing women and di di diagnoses and all that? Give me some stats. Yeah, definitely. Uh, breast cancer is a very common cancer. Actually, in the United States, it's, it's the most common cancer that's diagnosed. Um, more and more women are getting diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, the median age for women to get diagnosed with breast cancer is um, 60. Um, but that also means that um, a lot of women are getting diagnosed younger and younger. Um, so definitely the diagnosis um, and catching it early is key. Because um, if you can diagnose it early, if you can catch it early, it's very curable. And that's really the message for uh, this month, this Breast Cancer Awareness Month, um, that we need to diagnose it early. We need to screen as, as, as timely as possible. Um, because the earlier it's caught, the curable it is. And really, if it's caught um, in the very early stages, it's um, almost 99% curable. Uh, which means that you get rid of it for good and you're back to your normal life as you would have been. Um, so our message is to just get screened um, um, in time and to spread the message to your friend, your families, everybody. So let's talk about the current guidelines. I know they change every now and then in terms right. of ages where you should start getting screening. So tell me about that. Um, so the age at which you should uh, definitely start um, getting an annual uh, breast mammogram is 40 at this point. Um, start having that discussion with your physician um, to get that mammogram at least once a year after the age of 40. Uh, but if you have a strong family history, if you've had family members, um, close family members that, ha that have had a history of breast cancer, ovarian cancer, then um, you may want to get that early. Um, but at least uh, by the age of 40, you should definitely um, start looking into getting an, a mammogram once a year. Now, I know you mentioned um, people are di getting diagnosed younger and younger, mm -hmm. though, too. I feel like I hear about, I'm 32, I feel mm -hmm. like I hear about women my age getting right. diagnosed with breast cancer in their early 30s, even 20s, um, but we can't yet get a mammogram under a lot of circumstances. So what can people, you know, younger women before 40, be doing? Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's really the point where you need to have uh, that discussion with your physician. Um, with your primary care provider um, and discuss with them your family history. Um, there are guidelines available for them to follow, but if you have a strong family history and your um, physician is aware of that, they will definitely be able to get you a mammogram. Um, so what happens if you are diagnosed? What mm -hmm. does that look like? Um, so once you get diagnosed, it's a stepwise process um, that you go through. Um, you, it's, a, it's a combination of physicians that take care of breast cancer, which involves surgeons, uh, medical oncologists, and radiation oncologists. It all depends on the stage at which you're caught. Uh, but the definitive uh, treatment, if it's caught early, is, is surgery. Um, you can just take out the cancer and, um, you know, after that there's a few steps that we can do to improve the chances that it doesn't come back. Um, but um, if you can get, to get through those steps in time, then you can be cured and, um, like I said, just back on track. What's your take on, I know a lot of women um, these days are getting tested early for certain genes, mm -hmm. right, that they may have. Tell me about that. Yeah, so th that also uh, really all involves um, how strong your family history is. Um, if you have first degree relatives, you know, um, your um, grandmother, your mother, sister, siblings, cousins that have a history of breast cancer or ovarian cancer um, or pancreatic cancer or, or you know, any um, combination of cancers, then you may want to discuss that with your primary care physician and they can get you tested and um, uh, you know, just get you um, screened earlier. Yeah, just another option out Definitely, there. Definitely, yeah. um, 30 seconds here, just final messages for our, our viewers here on Breast Cancer right. Awareness I think month. really the final message and uh, the purpose of um, celebrating this Awareness Month globally is um, early screening, early detection, because uh, that can save lives. Um, if you talk to a breast cancer survivor, uh, really they um, will emphasize it more than anybody else, how important early screening is and how uh, important early detection is in, in, in 
saving a lot of invasive uh, procedures, treatments that you might need to go through if the cancer is later stage, mm -hmm. uh, but early screening definitely saves lives. And you could do those self-checks at home as well, right? Definitely, once a month, okay. uh, self-check, and then your mammogram once a year. Okay, Dr. Nami, thank you so much for coming on today. No, thank we you. appreciate your time. Always very important to discuss this. Yeah.